everyone and welcome to the homestead. So we have the new camper here. It's on the property. This is where it's going to sit and I'm going through some of the systems. I've been trying to you know make sure everything works and one of the things that I've come across is when you turn on a burner for the you know, propane stove one of the burners would light up just fine but as I would go around and light up more burners or even the oven the flame of the first burner and all the rest of them would steadily go down less and less and less on flame height and on top of that the refrigerator is not turning on and neither is the water heater so we're going to try replacing the uh, pressure regulator for the propane and we'll see if that helps the helps with the problem and fixes it so here we go I've got this old one here you know it's probably from the factory you know, 1987 <coughs> I've got the replacement I'll go ahead and uh, set the camera up so I'm not having to hold it and try to do the work with one hand All right, everybody. Hope I can keep this in in the frame. I don't have a regular like stand-up tripod. All I have is a, a generic version of a, a gorilla pod. If you look that up, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's just a small one that can wrap around different things, and I have the camera perched up on the jack of the trailer right now. All right, so. First thing we're going to do is get rid of this bracket here. Hopefully this replacement part will actually mount back onto the bracket. It's one of those universal pressure regulators. So we'll see what happens. So first take the bracket off. This one only had two screws. Just mount it to the back of this old pressure regulator. Screws over there. And then take off the hoses that actually connect to the tank. Nope. That's not good. Don't want any dirt in there. Put that on safe space. Safe place. Now the only reason why I'm removing these is just space to work. I suppose normally you can just take this off. Well, actually I might just do that. Go ahead and just tighten this thing back up. There's two fittings here, one for the actual hose and then one that actually attaches to the pressure regulator. I'll try to separate the two if I can. So the main line to the camper is off. Put it off to the side. I'm going to go ahead and take this piece off. Because this piece will get transferred over to the new one. Cross my fingers, I don't need to get a new fitting. Oh, 
looks like it's the same size. Wow, that's all wet. Gee, it smells like propane. I wonder why. I'll just okay. Yeah, uh, perfect. Oh, it fits in there. Perfect. Got to find my. I'm not sure if I need Teflon tape for this. It's a pipe fitting, so it should tighten up on its own. But I might put Teflon tape on there anyways. Put this fitting to the side. Then next is to get rid of the actual pressure regulator. This one's a single stage. Uh, this new one is a dual stage. I'm not sure exactly why they would do dual stage versus single stage. Maybe it's just maybe this first one just makes it easier on this one to work or something. I'm not sure. <coughs> so I'm gonna go up here on this one. See if we can break this sucker loose. Oh, that was easy. Take this little protective cover off. Just a little more room to work. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. okay. Been on there quite a while. You can see it's rusted on that fitting there. There we go. Now it's coming. All right, perfect. Now I'm just gonna test fit this. Make sure this goes on here. Yep. Okay, I am going to go try to find some Teflon tape. I'd just rather be safe than sorry when it comes to propane, so I'll be right back. Alright, back with the, the Teflon tape. Put it on here always remember to put it the direction of the threads of tightening it so if you have to tighten it this way this is the direction that the Teflon tape would go otherwise you're just gonna ball it up and create a mess and nothing's gonna seal on here just a couple wraps and there we go <coughs> get this thing screwed on around one more time and I'll have to there it is. It fell down. Just gonna get this fitting here. Make sure it's clean, no dirt, no dust, no nothing. And put some pipe thread on her uh, thread tape on this one. Am I still in the picture? No, I'm not. Once again, go around the same direction as the threads go for tightening. Thing on. 
There goes my wrench again. And there's one thing you need to pay attention to. I already figured this out, but I just noticed it. On the pressure regulator, there's an in and there's an out. And make sure you hook up where your tanks go on the inside and then the camper goes to the outside. But with the size of the fittings, you can't really mess them up. You can't put it in backwards. Turn that down a couple of turns. <coughs> now this last one, you can see it's tapered here. It means that this part right here is the part that actually creates the seal, so you don't need to put any Teflon tape or any kind of sealing on the threads themselves. So, I'll go ahead and just hook this right back up to the camper and be ready to hook up a propane tank and test it out. And on these ones here, with that angle on the tip, you don't want to tighten it down too hard or too much because if you do, it can actually warp that and it'll cause a leak. So just a little bit over snug and then uh, <coughs> when you hook up the propane, you want to hit all these connections with soapy water or some kind of mild cleaner, something that'll create bubbles and that'll tell you if there's a leak there or not. I got some generic cleaner that's put in another spray bottle there. But let's see if... Oh look at that. Nice. The holes line up so I'll be able to put it back on the bracket. Right, so I'm going to go get a propane tank and uh, I'm going to test it out before I put the bracket back on so that way I can still get to these if they need to be tightened up. So I'll be right back. Alright everyone. Got the propane tank here. Nice and tight. Go ahead and open it up. And this is when you need to take soap and put it on all these fittings here. This one, this one, and for the hose. Your soap or your your cleaner. Let's have a look here. Alright, we're looking good. Alright, we'll take you inside and we'll go ahead and fire up the stove see what happens okay so take these off and first I'm gonna just try to light one of these normally you would light the pilot light but I'm trying to kind of purge the lines Hold on, I'll be right back. Let me check on that tank, make sure it's turned on and everything. And everyone, so I think I figured it out. <clears throat> Apparently on um, a lot of these campers, maybe even all of them nowadays, I'm sure all of them, but when you open up the propane can, your tank, you have to open it up very slowly. Because apparently there's a little pressure valve where if it flows too much, it cuts it off and cuts off the flow, at least most of the way. So, I turned it off, um, bled the pressure out, went back out and just slowly turned it on. And it, I just tested it, seems like it works. So, we'll test it again. I'll turn on the pilot light here for the stove. So, 
pie the lights on. It's nice and orange. That's a good thing. Start with this burner here. Give the flow. And there we go. Nice, big, beautiful flames. And there's that one. This one. Boom. And here we go. Perfect. Everything's nice and strong and powerful. Nice, good flow. So for now, I'm going to turn that off, and it's time to start testing the fridge and the furnace and the water heater. So i got to go fire up the generator, and we'll see what happens there. All right, so put the generator fired up so you can get power here. Uh, there's no battery, so the generator has to be running in order to get any power. Sorry, we're still cleaning up in here. Go ahead and turn this so you can even see it and it's off. Okay, we'll turn this on to gas. There's the blue light. And we'll do this. And we'll see if that red light comes on. Okay, that's a bad thing. Maybe we just need to purge some more air from the lines. Let's go ahead and look at the furnace. We start turning things on. That's its lowest setting. Turn that on. Oh, got a nice little thermometer there. But it's all in Celsius. It's in Fahrenheit Celsius. It's still on, so we'll go ahead and shut this off for. And then wait for the furnace to come on. 